we talk about sporty or high-performance vehicles, I believe Mercedes-Benz has a very high spot on that podium. We are gonna talk about the AMG GT. You might know that AMG is the high-performance division of Mercedes-Benz. And in this case, I want to talk about the engine that is in the AMG GT. It has a 4-liter bi-turbo V8 with 510 horsepower. How is that possible? Through these beautiful turbos. A turbo is a device that focuses on increasing the amount of air pushed into the cylinder. More air equals more oxygen. More oxygen means I can burn more fuel. And if I can burn more fuel in the same area, I create a bigger explosion. If I have a bigger explosion and I can take advantage of it well, the pistons will be driven down harder and the engine will create more power. Of course, it's not that simple to bring this together, but AMG has an interesting way of getting it done. The turbochargers have two systems in place to cool the air down. Why? We are compressing air. What happens when you compress air? It heats up. If I introduce hot air into the combustion chamber, I am going to have combustion problems. And we're talking about temperatures reaching 300 to 330 degrees. So it has the air pass through an intercooler to lower the temperature to around 170 or 180 degrees. With that better airflow, we get our desired horsepower, which in this case comes at 6,250 RPM. Another interesting detail is in its low center of gravity. How do they do this? They use a dry sump system, which I'll tell you about. They drop it by five and a half centimeters, or about two inches. It might not sound like a lot, but it is not inconsequential, as this drops the center of gravity of the whole car and adds to its performance. How? There's an oil collector underneath the engine that is not the sump. It is just a container that grabs the lubricant and through a system of pumps, sends it to an external sump or deposit. From that deposit, the oil is cooled and sent back into the engine. This vehicle has another Mercedes trait, which is to have the transmission on the rear axles, giving it an ideal weight distribution. Subscribe to our channel, Autotech TV. Technology, clear and simple.